Okay, I'm going to talk about DaVinci Resolve 14 and a half Studio. What I had originally on this computer is I had DaVinci Resolve over here, 12 and a half, the free version. Then I had 12 Studio, which I paid, uh, actually paid for a license through the Mac store. And before I tried 14 and a half, I made a directory, just made up DaVinci 12 Studio and drug the uh, icon over there so I can still run my paid version of 12 studio here like this you can click on that that's my paid version but I didn't want to blow that away so on the uh, black magic form somebody mentioned making a new uh, folder make it up anything you want to I drag over the icon here that worked and then when I installed DaVinci Resolve 14 and a half studio beta it put it right here and blew away my 12 version of 12 the freebie version which didn't really bother me but it just I had both versions working here for a while and I finally got the uh, paid version because it's got noise reduction stuff so if I go over here and click on DaVinci Resolve studio the public beta you get the bitch notice of no dongle and that's going to happen because uh you're going to have to plug a usb dongle in here in order to run this now my understanding is once this is non-beta on a mac you'll be able to upgrade this free if you've got a paid version of 12 and a half studio uh, I believe that's what happens. So, in order to run this, I have to plug a USB dongle in here, get one off eBay, or if you've already got an older version, you can use that because it's not going to want to open up. So, if you want to be familiar with 14 Studio, which has got a lot of cool audio stuff on a Mac, you're going to have to go ahead and use a dongle on here. Right now, I'm running Sierra OS Sierra on this.